Hey guys, welcome to a studio update. So let's start off with a awesome commission that Sid's working on. It's Super Dungeon Explorer, and they are colorful. We'll probably be do a uh, full length video on this set because yeah. it's so unique and awesome. Uh -huh. Yeah, basing's not done, but you can see some of the paint jobs. Whoa. So here are a couple of the models. This is a cool log with uh, some worm or something in there. And they're all like super cartoony and just full of character. I love this guy. And yeah, really cool. We haven't done the bases yet. Uh, there's some beaver warriors. And let's see, these guys are cool. They're carrying carrots. Yeah, and we'll show you guys some more of these in a full video once we're done everything. Okay, so we have some white scars here. Uh, they are all magnetized with some really cool options. So as you might know, white scars are kind of Mongolian-like, and this is just like one of my favorite options that I made. So this model could be a librarian on bike, or multiple options with all the magnetized bits. The sword is from Kingdom Death, and yeah, it just makes the model really awesome. And there's some more biker troops there. We are finally shipping Gilgalad, and we're probably going to do a full video on him soon. And here are some White Scar flyers that we've just finished and are ready to get out of here. I guess this can be a formation that you can play, which is a Storm Raven and two Storm Talons. You can see we did the red markings all across, all three of them to kind of match, and this one has some rising sun freehand done on both of the wings. Also, uh, we went to the mall and on a car, right after I painted these, was a sticker of the rising sun logo. It was like really funny how I just noticed that right after I did them. It's... Over here, there's freehand on the storm talon of some hawk wings that I painted on the wings of the plane, so we wanted to go for more of like a, like some tribal paint or like story behind each of these planes like this one is the hawk it's like hunts down its prey and stuff like that this one is the storm theme and on the side you can see there's this storm cloud that we painted and then also to match it I did the normal white scar lightning symbol on this side too you'll probably see this in the pictures right now So over here we have some Sega miniatures. They are medieval looking guys. And there's some crossbows, some regular archers here. And they're all like different assorted clothing. Some are like more orange, red, beige, like everything here. Uh, and this is, I like this guy a lot. His crossbow is like pulled back and ready to shoot. Um, there are 20 horse riders so we did all their shields with like different tones and designs on them so that's this one right here and yeah so there's like yellow and red they're all different and there's a bunch over here I like the purple one that's cool so yeah these are some of our tabletop quality models and they're led by this one leader on a round base with a freehand dragon on the shield so that's cool so another awesome model we're working on is the iron warriors primark from forge world it has one of the coolest bases like it's a full knight on the base like that's awesome and there he is we gave him a cool custom helmet because uh, our client didn't really want the normal human face because they're iron warriors they don't really show it that often he has some like OSL glowing behind his head, and he is awesome. 
And yeah, that is one sick model. Uh, there's also some bikers to accompany him that are really cool. And this one has like a demonic hand. Yep, so that's cool. We have some Pure Guard. Here's your average Sentinel with like the top canopy like that. But the other ones were missing some. So Sid went ahead and gave it some of this like plant foliage on top and it just looks so cool. And yeah, it just completely suits him. And it's good because we did like, I think 80 Katachan for him. So it will fit right in there for the army. There's some heavy weapon squads. And here's one of the Forge World Imperial tanks. It has some glowing at the front for its giant flamer. We also magnetized the back piece, which is this part right here. And for color scheme, we kind of just went off his army, so regular colors, and went from there and just did what we thought looks cool on this. Uh, there we go. So that's that model. You might recognize these Chaos Sorcerers from the last studio update. We were given full artistic license to these guys and we just went to town with it. So they're all what we imagined and they are done in Black Legion schemes. Thank you guys for watching this studio update. If you want your own board game painted, visit our website, fourrealmsofchaos.com, or email us at fourrealmsofchaos at hotmail.com to get some sweet models like this. And yeah, this is like some giant rabbit. Just thought I'd show you guys. See you later. Rock on.